So while the bonnet is drying, um, let's crack on with front wings. I'll just pretend that those videos are going to be separate as two separate tutorials, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That's a good one! So here, here we are. Those are the wings from a Nissan Micra K11. They've been modified before with the wide arch body kit. They're super heavy. We just weighted them and they're 2.75 kilograms each yes because of all the feel and everything i reckon i can get down each one to under a kilo so that's a good four kilograms saving just on the wings so what i'm doing right now is i'm using glue gun and some off cuts of wood just to prop it up off the surface reason being is that it's a lot easier to get to the edges when you sort of fold stuff and it's generally easier when everything is slightly lifted off um, of the of the surface um, so I'll need a few of those I already glued those two and it's fairly fairly st sturdy then as I mentioned before in numerous of my videos we're gonna have to cover those holes aluminium foil tape does absolute wonders um, obviously it doesn't really matter if we're not super neat because obviously we're not seeing the inside layer we're seeing the outside layer and the 400 gram carbon fiber that we're going to be using will cover it absolutely beautifully uh, there's a few things that we not going to need on those wings because obviously usually the wings are done as a two-part mold because of all the concave shapes on a race car and i have to stress it on a race car for your road car it might not be perfect because you'll be like oh what's this quality but on a race car it's absolutely fine we're gonna eliminate this sort of inner inner edge lip because there is no need for it so the the wing literally will stop here so we don't need that also a few mounting holes for example this one has not well, i can't see it this one it's not being used on a car currently anyway so we don't need to mold for that also the bottom ones they're not being used well they're not going to be used uh, eden is going to just basically uh, attach it through the bottom have a rib nut in there and uh, makes it so much easier the only again this one is not needed at all so we can actually stop here this will be needed but i think the easiest way to do it instead of for um, you know, forming it in carbon and reinforcing it to be able to accept the load it's a lot easier it has a folding machine and everything aluminium aluminium l bracket literally like that so the carbon will come right down to the edge like this and then you make your aluminium bracket you can put your rib nut in there you can uh, make a thread and whatever and then literally a bit of bonding um one um uh i lost the word there the fa favorite gun i've used in uh, my last video uh the uh not the rib nut you know what i mean you know what i mean that aluminium thing that clumps stuff um yeah same goes for here he hasn't been using the second one in the center so we're not going to worry about that again l bracket l bracket so nice and simple and obviously this can be cut again for for this side repeater um overall it's all very nice eden already prepped it um by taking the stickers off he washed it and stuff like that so again i'm not going to use a chemical release agent because there is no need because we're not doing multiples we're going to be using it once and we're going to use pva mold release from easy composites of course so let me just finish up with the razor stands apply pva wait 15 minutes pre-cut the carbon and let's make it light So the wings are all prepped and ready to go again we used pva i might have shown you this before brilliant 15 minutes it's all nice and dry i'm gonna do the same as the bonnet because the key here is to make it as light as possible because we want this geese fab micro to be as light as possible so no point making it all beautiful and super strong it will be strong anyways because it's carbon so again we're using bottom layer dial in which is not going to be visible and then on top we're using really sexy 450 grams two by two twill so two layers and then we'll reinforce it from the inside once we take it off in strategic places 
um, for example, where we're going to have different aluminium flanges, we'll put another layer of uh, carbon in there and most likely for the place where you put your uh, side repeater as well, just a square on the inside, just to make it a little bit stronger. We might, I have foam, we might, we might, depending on how flexible this sort of flat area is, if it's too flexible, what we can do, we can cut a strip of foam, epoxy it on the inside and then put another strip of carbon just to reinforce it because foam doesn't give you any weight. It's literally weightless, essentially. Um, but it gives you great rigidity, so we'll do that. But for now, let's mix a little bit of EL2 uh, resin. Again, half fast, half slow, because I don't want it. I don't want to rush it. Uh, we have time until tomorrow. And let's do first wing first, and then we'll repeat tomorrow. Morning, my young lovers of carbon fiber and all sorts of other unnecessary things that we do over on this channel back at geese fab the next day and and boom yes rushed it a little bit like i said before yesterday i'm not sure whether i'm gonna make separate videos for those or one continuous video but i'll pretend that they're separate videos but yeah we rushed it we demolded it straight away here we, here we are you remember yesterday I weighed it, the original one, that was 2.75 kilos. Guys, I think you, you know by now what to do. Comments now. <laughs> what do you think? 750? It's a little bit more than your bottle of wine. No, actually, it's not. It's less because obviously the glass, 800 grams. Yes. So two kilos. So we're basically we're saving. Actually, no. We need to we need to weigh your original bonnet. Where is it? Yeah, two point seven, the old one. Yeah. No, another one because I weighed another one. Uh, actually, why did we put point eight? Because that's before that, that's before trimmed. So we don't. Six hundred forty. The other one was six hundred fifty. I don't know, ten grams difference. We're about that. Okay. I'll put times two, times two. Okay, so the bonnet is 2.2. Uh, roof. The roof, the roof, the roof was on fire. So we were 8.9. 8.9. Let's put... Tomorrow. We've not used a complex three-piece mold so we haven't retained all the factory mounting points so a lot of these panels are going to fit differently to how they would do in a road car so with the wings for example i've actually already started to fit one of them to the car so um obviously i've put a rivet nut here in the a pillar to secure it there i put another rivet nut in the bottom of the sill to secure it there and then we need to make some form of bracket to tie into one of these bolt holes here right so what i've done this side just to sort of demonstrate what i've done is i've put two 
rib nuts in the chassis there now usually it would go into this bolt here and this bolt here fortunately we're because of the, the rolling process we've not we haven't managed to retain this lip uh, but we have two bolts in there to stop the wing twisting so i've just put two bolts in there we've drilled two holes in the bottom of the carbon so uh, we'll get this bolted on and then we'll get on to uh the second tab Right, so come across a bit of an issue, and that is because of obviously we're missing all the back structure of the panel. We've got these sort of like massive sort of like lips. Now I've rectified this by putting some nuts, as you see there. But basically, uh, the nut behind the panel, to space it out because rather than use a load of washers, just quickly use a nut. So just under this quickly, put that behind there. Let's see how the panel gap is. Right, so that's much better. Got a better panel gap there now. So the next issue I've got to sort is uh, this issue. Now, on the, other, on the other wing that we did, um, we've managed to pick up a couple of the, the bolt mounting points. So this side's not gonna be a problem. Um, but this side, yeah, we need to sort of like have some sort of tab here so we can pick up this uh, this bolt hole here. Uh, and maybe one down the bottom here as well. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's figure that out. So another thing we've got to sort while the wings are off is that the, the old steel wings had a retaining nut for this top headlight pickup point. Obviously the carbon ones haven't got that, so just gonna use a bit of aluminium angle. Just gonna slide it in there. And then we should be able to drill a hole in there, put a rib nut in there. And that's headlight sorted. Right, so that's the driver's side headlight and the wing back on before the brackets. Um, yeah, I'll do the job. Uh, we've just put the old steel bonnet back on because we've still got the locating uh, pieces with the uh, the bonnet pins. Just to check panel gaps and yeah, it's not looking too bad. We can adjust this slightly um, if we ever wanted to just by packing the uh, that mount underneath here with a couple of washers. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think that's looking pretty good. The uh, arch is on there. I mean, it's a bit, you know, flimsy in places but that's the whole point of carbon fiber is it stays uh flexi bell so we're just going to come over here into the passenger side and the passenger side is going to be uh, a bit easier because we've managed to retain on this one uh, a couple of the locating points for some nuts and bolts so uh, we really i did this one after that side and then realized we could improve on it so that's why we've got the we've got some mountain locations in this one but not the other one so this one should take seconds in comparison to mount so yeah let's get this on um, and then we can look and get the bonnet mounted Right, so the passenger side arch was uh, much easier to put on and quicker. Uh, we have got the panel gap this side is uh, a bit better than the other side, so we've maybe just got to play around with uh, this side a bit, just to get that panel gap closed up, but the race car and all that, it's not that important. All right, so here we are, front wings on the Micra race car. Um, I think I mentioned it before, they are not show quality wings. So all of you haters who think, oh, this is not my normal, this is like that. They're supposed to be light and they're supposed to be functional. Their pure function is to cover the, the arc and the wheel and they do it absolutely perfectly. And they are 640 grams each. So we saved around five kilograms just by doing the arches. The fit up is pretty, pretty good. If you actually, you know, don't mind occasional, panel gap here and there on this one i actually managed to retain the the flange 
uh, it was kind of helpful on this one we're going to have to fabricate a couple of uh, aluminium brackets just to hold it in place but yeah overall i am very happy and i'm pretty sure mr geese fab is very happy as well i'm, I'm, I'm very happy i'm very happy yeah so the bonnet is next it's almost complete i uh, will show you in the next video and now we're gonna have to tackle the roof i reckon that's going to be another hefty save so yeah stay tuned